Thanks for joining us today, Alex. Uh, you, I actually attended your talk yesterday and I found it very, Thank you. very interesting. So I'll, Thank you. I'll touch on that later. But in terms of uh, your background, just to refresh some of the viewers, yeah. you, I know you've been in academia and also in industry. Maybe just tell us a bit about what you've done up until now. So um, let's say I've been both camps. So I worked as a practitioner and as an academic for several years. So I switched camp, let's say, every two years. Yeah. So I was able to not only to understand the equations which are behind all these models, but also to understand the business. And uh, I think that I profited from being in the business and being in academia because I think that I can understand what doesn't work in the models and actually what doesn't work in the business. How can the business be improved uh, uh, through quantitative models? Because I think that both camps should learn from each other. So academia from being more practical and uh, close to the business and also to business to make use of more quantitative methods to better optimize the, the, the returns, the capital and whatever it's, need to, to do, uh, uh, it's needed to do a good business. I, I would very much agree with you on that. In terms of what you presented, you did a lot of uh, work around stress testing. Yeah. What do you think of the issues at the moment in the industry in terms of stress testing and what, how does your approach try to, uh, mm -hmm. to simplify the problem in a sense? Yeah, yeah, you got the right point. So the, the, my approach is to simplify instead of uh, building fancier and fancier models, increasing the number of variables to make the problem complex. I think we should go the other route, which is to simplify. And if you consider nowadays models are built sometimes on thousands of variables, not only in the industry, also in the regulators, we have very, very complex models. So I think uh, the right step is to simplify models, not to base decisions on thousands of variables, which are difficult to grasp, but just to identify few factors which are key, which have a, a very uh, concentrated power to explode, let's say, when the time comes. And we saw that the great financial crisis actually depended on, a, uh, let's say, a chain of factors, which were very few. So we had the mortgage bubble, so we have a freezing of the wholesale markets, uh, we had collapse of, uh, of some institutions. So if you uh, draw a map of what happened actually, you can reconduct everything to a few factors which interact in a complex manner that standard models based on historical statistical data cannot account for. And uh, this is, let's say, also my personal bat battle is to change the focus of the industry from being backward looking into being forward looking and to use also a lot of brainstorming reasoning and not just rely 100% blindly on quantitative models. In terms of, uh, I guess because if we were looking at a forward view, yeah. what types of things would you stress test for the, mo for the moment? Like going ahead, what type of scenarios would you, do you be looking for? Okay, there, there's a distinction, of course, there are scenarios which we cannot predict what's going to happen, like it happened to, with Ukraine, so six months ago uh, nobody knew what was going to happen, yeah. but there are already some swans, which are not black swans, but they are grey swans, yeah. and we have to account for them. Take into account, for example, the Scottish referendum, it's not a black swan because we know when it's going to happen, but we have to analyse all the consequences which are uh, derived from this event. So this is an event that uh, will have an impact on the market somehow, on the industry, but we have to understand how it's going to unfold. So we have to reason in causal terms rather than statistical terms and make use of very few key variables instead of using uh, thousands of variables. So I think every institution should have a kind of radar of all risks and we know the risks of today are uh, not, not only Ukraine and Scotland, uh, people are speaking about hard landing in China, uh, people are, are, are speaking about Iran. So there are things that are already on the radar, radar which are not black swans, which are grey swans. And I think stress testing should focus on how to analyse these grey swans and to analyse the consequences of this event unfolding. No, I'd, I'd very much agree with that. So if you know that a scenario could occur, then you should at least uh, try and prepare for it. Well, thanks very much for, uh, for chatting you. to me today. And uh, I look forward to hearing more about your work in the future. Thanks very much. Thanks to you.